Hello everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial. In this video I want to show you the new add-on for Blender, it's called Profiler. It's used for architectural visualization, so let me just quickly show how it works. I will select one of the faces of the cube and convert it to the curve and apply our profile. Then I can delete the cube now. So basically what it does, it adds a new collection uh, which is stored in your scene and you can add any type, any amount of profiles in your scene and all will be stored in this collection and it's hidden from the render. So after that you will get the new menu here with different types of properties. For instance we have here the dimensions of the profile. Uh, let me just select for instance this one maybe. Yeah. You can change the dimensions then you can change the offset of the profile which is basically the dimension of the curve itself so if you want to change the size or in different ways like by x or by y it's really useful then we have the gamepad here uh, which basically change the pivot point of the profile yeah it's really useful when especially when you use on the walls or on the crown moldings if you want to shift it it's a really great option then we have a mirror so mirroring is basically the um, native blender function mirror it's really useful with combination of offset you can get really quick results and next thing, thing I want to show you here uh, is the tilt so tilt is rotating your curve for instance you want to rotate for 90 degrees and you get this shape or you want to mirror it in this type and get ready with a new column or something if you notice that uh, you can work in two modes like 2d mode or 3d mode I recommend to work most of the time to work in the 2d mode because of uh, this problem here when you work in 3d mode you have this problem like distorting on the corners for instance in 3d mode you can see here in this area we have some distortions and it's really annoying sometimes when you have ready room on the corners you will get these distortions and it's not, not a good thing so I recommend to use 2d mode and change your, all your properties inside uh, this mode yeah so uh, next thing I want to show you is resolutions we have here the resolution of the profile and we have resolution for the curve which is not working now because we need to have the curve object like circle or something for the circle you can clearly see how it works yeah that's how it works for the curve and the profile you can see how the quality of the profile changed and we have the other issue here with the shading so most of the time you work with the shade smooth mode but it sometimes it gets this weird shading issues here how to fix that there is two options I want to show you the first one you can use the flat mode for this and just get to higher resolutions so you won't see any problems but you will get a really really high res mesh if you want to optimize your mesh then I recommend <coughs> to use shade smooth mode with the lower resolutions but to fix this you have to go to object convert it to the mesh and use auto smooth so that's how you will get the smooth 
curve object but the problem is you cannot change the properties then so you have to select the all properties in the right place then to convert it to the mesh so here I want to show you how to use profiler add-on in one of my real projects uh, so in my room in this corner I want to make skirting here in this corner and skipping the door so I will select the edges here shift D and separate the selection so when I when I have this edge I can convert them and apply my profile for skirting so here it is we have this ready profile but as you can notice it's shifted a little bit so what I have to do I have to find the right position on the gamepad and mirror it yep that's it so we have the profile sometimes I want to make more to get more perfections here yeah so that's how we get the skirting and I can apply any material on it uh, one more problem I want to mention that sometimes when you apply the profile and you can check the normals and it's inverted so in this situation we have the other button here what it does it basically swept the normals to the right place so it's really comfortable to have this button here uh, you cannot change it by switching this switch direction because it actually changed the direction of the profile so don't do that use this button instead so next I want to show you how to make the wall moldings it's pretty easy Let me just quickly add the plane oh sorry I will add the plane here convert it and applies one of the wall moldings maybe yeah and I will change the dimensions also I want to rotate it to the 90 degrees as you can notice we have problem here with the rotation with the tilt so I can tilt it also for 90 degrees and work with the properties of the dimension the profile well, usually I just if I want to be more precise I will go like 20 centimeters here below 10 centimeters below the skirting and I select this edge go there and minus 10 centimeters same thing to this side okay yeah and we have our profile ready to go let me just add the quick material yep oh I can see that we shift a little bit yeah that's fine and I want to make the second one so the easiest way to do that is shift D right click go to the properties and offset that's how it's easy really amazing well basically this type of profiles used in the new classic interior style and I really love it how it works with this add-on and just shift or move it here again 10 centimeters so that's how you get the wall moldings really easy right and finally let me show you how to create the crown uh, crown molding on this edge here so I will select these edge and 
and also this one. I have some separation here, but we will fix it later. So Shift D to duplicate and P for separation. So we have edge here. And we could select the profile, convert, apply. So we have to work with the mirroring a little bit. Oh yeah. And I want dimension to be 15. We have some problems with the vertices here. Have to delete them. Yeah, so we have this clean object. But still, we have a little bit issue with the shape. As I mentioned before, when you use 3D mode, you have some distortion on the corners. So always try to keep this in 2D mode. Unless you needed to make this some curved objects, some curved uh, walls, if you have. So otherwise, you have to be always in 2D mode. Just do be, be careful uh, when using this profile. Okay, so yeah, that's it basically. Um, if you want to continue this, just simply go to the side and. can extrude your curve and do whatever shape you want so that's it uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below thank you for watching